Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about cost element categories. So what are the cost elements? Cost elements are the cost carriers between one object to another object. And there are two types of cost elements in the controlling module. One is primary cost element and another one is secondary cost element. Initially in ECC, only the primary cost elements are the general ledger accounts. But in S4 HANA, secondary cost elements are also the general ledger accounts so because all the values are updated in universal journal. So both the general both the cost elements are general ledger accounts in SAP S4 HANA. So primary cost elements functionality is to carry the cost from FI to CO module but the secondary cost elements are used to carry the cost within CO from one cost object to another cost object like from cost center to another cost center from cost center to COPA from internal order to cost center so for this purpose we are going to use secondary cost elements what are the cost element categories so basically cost element categories identify the nature of the cost elements and its usage so where we are going to use the cost element so the categories will identify the usage of the cost elements so multiple cost element categories are defined so these cost elements categories are segregated into primary cost element categories and secondary cost element categories so let's see about the cost element categories so initially primary cost element categories are divided into two types one is cost related and another one is revenue related so for cost related 01 is the primary cost element category which is used to identify the primary expense like the material cost so we are going to use 01 cost element category so 12 cost element category is to identify the sales reduction so we can also use 01 category for sales reduction but this will not update the value in copa so basically the usage of copa is to identify the profitability from its market segment so we can identify the profitability of the company in different profit segments so for this purpose we are going to use the copa so if we create sales reduction cost element in 01 category so it will not update the sales reduction in the copa so for this purpose sap is segregating the sales reduction into another category 12 so 22 category is used for external settlement like if we want to settle the cost from CO to FI like internal order is a CO object but we want to settle the cost of internal order to asset so for this purpose we are going to use 22 cost element category so 11 is used to identify the sales and for sales revenue identification we are going to use 11 as a cost element category so another secondary cost element categories are divided into five cost element category one is for internal settlement which is used to settle the cost from one cost object to another cost object like if you want to settle the internal order cost to another cost center so for this purpose we are going to use 21 and for the settlement and calculation of work in progress we are going to use 31 and for indirect overhead cost element category we are going to use 41 and 42 is used for assessment cost element and 43 is used for direct overhead cost element so when we are going to create the costing sheet we are going to create the 
and uh, we are going to calculate the cost of indirect overheads so for this purpose we are going to assign the 41 category to indirect cost so for direct cost we are going to use 43 category like activity cost machine cost labor cost so we are going to use the 43 category and we are when we are going to create the activity types we have to assign the 43 cost element under the activity type to calculate the cost of activity and 43 category is used 42 category is used when we are going to assess the cost from call center to another call center from call center to copa so for this usage we are going to use assessment cost center cost element and monthly at the period end we are also going to run the assessment cycles so the assessment cycles are run using the cost assessment assessment cost elements so when we are going to create the cost elements we have to assign the cost element categories during the creation of the cost elements so that's all for this video thank you for watching